Right, hello folks. So I've got some uh, antique pewter <laughs> and a lump hammer. Let's have some fun. Right, welcome back. Right, so I've got this uh, pewter vase and a little pewter milk, milk jug, I suppose. Um, they are antiques, apparently. However, they are destined for the melting pot. There it is over there. I'm going to make a, as many cannons as I can out of these. Um, I'm also afterwards going to melt down those bullets and musket balls that I found uh, two weeks back so uh, yeah my moulds got wet because I left them out but hey this should be alright right let's begin <laughs> Yeah, I muted the, the sound for that one because it sounded uh, pretty loud. So I've put the first bit in. We'll turn that on in a sec. Uh, I'm just going to bash this one down as flat as I can. And we'll go ahead and melt it down. Alright. They fit in the pot, so let's go ahead and plug this thing in and uh, get melting. Alright, that's in there nice and snug. Let's turn it on. Turn the heat up. Yeah. Now there's some musket balls. These have been here for a few weeks, these ones, so uh, yeah, I'll melt all those down and the ones that are in my bag from couple of weeks back turn them into ingots or whatever okay so I'll let this heat up and I'll uh, get back to you when it starts melting right we're nearly there that won't take too long now then I'll scoop off the excess at the you know, all the crud at the top and uh, we'll try and make a cannon or two. Here's my stuff from last week, or week before, sorry. And got these musket balls there to throw in with the mix. Right, I'll get this mould ready and uh, I'll see you in a sec. Right then, let's do this. Yeah, it's going to pop and fizzle and sizzle because uh, I left the mould outside 
and it got a bit wet. So there you go, that's what happens. Right, so I'll leave that uh, sizzling and popping for a minute, and then uh, when it cools down a tad, I'll turn it over and we'll do some wheels. Right, let's see how this turned out. Okay, the the barrel of the gun didn't form, so I'll remelt that. That's probably because of the because uh, it was wet. Let's check this out. A lot of uh, flashing on this. That's okay. Looks like the carriage turned out pretty good. I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind's picking up quite a bit. <laughs> right, so all days. Put them together again and we'll pour it to that side. Let's see if we can get this gun right. <coughs> okay. Just wait for that and we'll pop that one back in to melt. I'm melting! Right, I'll uh, let this one cool down and I'll trim it up. Let that one settle around first. See you in a sec. Well, it's starting to pee down now. <laughs> so, right, let's see how the gun turned out then. Yes, that's better. Happy with that. Where's my snips? I keep putting my snips down. I'm losing it right here. <coughs> okay. Yeah, a bit of trimming, a bit of filing. That'll be all right. So we've got a carriage and we've got a gun. Let's do the wheels. This is the tricky one. Because they almost never turn out all right straight away. Sorry about the angle. <coughs> okay. All right, let's do this. Come on. Ooh. There we have it. I'll see you in a sec. Right, let's see how this wheel turned out. Nope. As I thought. The uh see the spokes? They didn't turn out, they didn't fall properly. That's alright. Just remelt it. Start again. Right, uh, well, we have a wheel. I've actually been making these for the past hour and they've all failed. <laughs> so we finally got one. Uh, I just need to trim this bit off up here, give it a bit of a file and that'll be okay. Right, let's do another one. Right, <coughs> it's taken a long time, but we're there. We've got our second wheel. So let that cool down, I'll trim it, file it down, make it look pretty, and uh, we have our complete cannon. This is be the, the British six pounder artillery cannon. Okay, right, I'm going to attempt to do the, uh, the, the other one, the French uh, 16 pounder cannon. Okay, here we go. It's gotten a bit dark now, so hope you can still see. Okay, that's failed. It's dribbling out the back. Oh, 
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Right, we'll just let that be for about 10 minutes and I'll get back. Right, well, despite the, uh, the mishap, uh, the carriage has turned out okay, I think. Yeah, I reckon that's to come out okay. Just needs a lot of trimming. All these little bits I can just remelt. So I've not got a lot of pewter left. And yeah, the wheel didn't come out very well. So I'll uh, redo that. But the gun. Perfect. Yeah, so I'll snip that off. Hang on, sorry about the view. Right, so I'll keep the gun, trim it up along with the carriage. Sorry, I'm just trimming it. Right, pop that in there. And now we just need to do the wheel again. Right, well, I had a bit of leakage. <laughs> Quite a bit of leakage. Uh, but the wheel came out okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and... Sorry, car's going by. I'll go ahead and cut this out. And... Remelt the rest and pour, try and pour another wheel. Be back soon. Right, well, I managed to get the second wheel trimmed, the big cannon, and this is the finished product. So, these are my uh, pewter made artillery cannons. This is the British six pounder cannon, and this is the French 16 pounder cannon. Now they look a bit wobbly because this is how I send them out um, <clears throat> just to make it easier for postage and of course it gives the the person I'm sending it to the option to paint it uh, and then assemble it using you can super glue them together um, just like this uh, so when they get sent out they will be sent flat packed just like that and the same with the uh, six pounder as well, just like that. Easy to put together, bit of super glue or solder that might work. So, there we have it. Alright, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed watching.